And joining me now, the head coach of the Bulk Academy Gators, Pat Collins. Coach, you guys are coming off a tough loss there to open up the season in the Eric Russell Classic, but you had to feel like there were some positives. You've had a chance to look at the tape. Your thoughts on that game? Well, you're exactly right. Um, anytime that, that you play a game, uh, you, you go in and you find some things that perhaps you did better than you may have recognized uh, during the contest and some things, obviously, that you need to work on. And we found both. And, um, you know, uh, credit Pinewood, I want to I want to give them credit as as we did when we spoke earlier. Um, they 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 are much improved, and they did a fine job on Saturday. And um, my hat's off to them because of what they did. Uh, we've got to concentrate on the things that we can do better. And and uh, again, we found several things in our film that we'll go back to work on. And and um, you know, I thought for the most part that that uh, our players played very very hard. I thought they gave good effort. Um, you know, the ones that need a little bit of encouragement, we'll make sure they get some encouragement to do a little better um, as far as that, that area goes. But, um, uh, you know, again, it was a it was a back-and-two first football game, and I'm sure for somebody watching it was fairly entertaining. Well, you'd always mention that you make the most gains between your first game and the second game, and you got Edmund Burke coming up on the road Friday. I know that – you know, when the kids lose to Pinewood, it, it means something, even if it's a non-region game. Do you feel like the heads are up and you guys are ready for Edmund Burke? We've got just to stay the course and stay steady. And you never you never want to get too high or too low for one of these games uh, because there's a long season ahead of you. And and uh, in the grand scheme of things, yes, it was a rivalry game against Pinewood at Paulson and all of those factors that you mentioned. But in the grand scheme of things, it's a non-region game. So, um well, it's going to be their home opener. They did not play last week. They had an open, unusual open week in the first week of the season. Um, so they're going to be excited. They're going to have a big crowd. And, and um, for whatever reason, a lot of people get up to play Bullock Academy. I, I, don't know, I don't know what that reason is, but they, they get excited about playing this. Um, you know, Edmund Burke runs the option, and they're very, very proficient. They're led by the quarterback. And uh, people around these parts, uh, you know, they, they watched option football out at Georgia Southern for years. They're under center. They're – they're running the dive and the quarterback keeping it and pitching the ball off the option. And, and they're very, very proficient. They do a very good job with it. And, again, it goes as their quarterback goes. So, I think the key for us defensively is going to be con to contain their quarterback, who's a, a fine little player. He does, does an excellent job. And then defensively, they're in a 50 defense, and uh, which is what they ran last year. So, there's some familiarity and carryover from last year. And, um, you know, again, it, it can come down to the special teams. And uh, we've – We've got to shore up some things in all areas of our special teams because field position weighs in heavily in, in, a, in games like this. All right, stay with us. Coming up next, we'll hear from a few of the Gator players. Ready for fall? Us too at RJ Pope. Get ready to cheer on your favorite team in a new performance polo from Pita Millar, Southern Tide and AFCO. Ladies, we have the best brands and trending fashions. Complete your look with one of our best-selling shoe brands, Soft, On Cloud, and Free People. Shop these brands and so much more at one of our three locations, RJ Pope Buckhead, Downtown, and Vidalia. And join me now, a couple of the Bullock Academy players from both sides of the ball. Will's, uh, Will Aaron plays safety and also receiver. Lines McKinney is lined up at guard and also on defense at linebacker. Coming off a tough loss to Pinewood, how's the team feeling right now, Will? You know, I mean, I think everybody took it um, hard, but I think the most important thing we can take away is um, just come back and have a good week of practice and coming out strong this week. Is it hard when you lose to like your rival to kind of bounce back immediately, Lines? I mean, it is, but you got to come back to practice and play every play hard and come back and keep the energy up going into next week. You know, our main goal is still attainable. So we haven't lost much. All right. Some good things happened uh, there on Saturday. I know there were a lot of question marks about your offense. You guys scored 28 points, moved the ball down the field pretty good. How are you feeling about the positives from Saturday? Yeah, I think there are a lot of positives we can take away. Um, we did a lot of things right, and we did a lot of things well. And I think that's just something we got to build on and we got to keep improving on throughout the weeks. Lines, anything stand out to you of, of good things you guys did on Saturday? And we did a lot of good things. I mean, we scored 28 points. I mean, we made some stops when we needed to. We just got to take those and focus on those and move on. All right, you got Edmund Burke coming up this week on the road. You got to go to Waynesboro. What do you know about them? What do you expect? Well, they run the triple option and they run it pretty well. Um, you know, a big thing this week is limiting big plays and um, containing the quarterback. 
same thing. You got them coming up. Uh, it's on the road. That can be a distraction sometimes. Yes, sir. We've got to stay focused this week in practice and go up there and play like we know how to play. All right. Bullock Academy in Waynesboro taking on Edmund Burke this Friday night. Hopefully, hopefully you can get out there and support the Gators.